Hello guys, and welcome to my new LP. Created by Konami. Konami. It's in the card game. Also brought to you by... McDonald's. ba da ba 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 I'm loving it. I'm loving the Yu-Gi-Oh. And brought to you by Kazuki Takahashi. Kazuki Takahashi. And by Flood and Mod 14. <laughs> Subscribe to Flood and Mod 14 today. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's play Legacy of the Duelist by Flood and Mod 14. So guys, we're going to start the campaign from the beginning. And, yeah, I already have cards and some games and some uh, duels downloaded. I already have some decks. But, after much contemplation, I decided we're going to do it. Let's do it. Loading Yu-Gi-Oh! Histories! <laughs> uh, but guys, I am going to grab, like, my other keyboard, so I'll be right back. How you guys doing? Doing pretty good. Where or where is that keyboard at? they're telling you to go put in defense mode, so you do that, and then press enter to enter turn, so enter, oops, no, I have it on, I think I have it set to B or S, yeah, it's on S, so S, Josh, and then in the turn, you can also use your mouse, which this is harder to do than I thought backwards, but you know, let me try to use the laptop mouse here, Jesus, okay, there we go. I end my turn, Joseph. I end my turn. Woo! I end my turn. <laughs> that box is large. But why? And so now you draw a card. They attacked it to us and obviously lost. So 
Anyway, all this tutorial stuff is boring. Blah, 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 blah. Basically, play your cards right, read your cards, and use your cards to your advantage. So, we're going to play a spell card, which are green cards, and then a trap card. You cannot play the pinkish purpley cards, aka traps, right away. You have to set them at least one turn. So, now what we're going to do is switch this to attack mode, obviously, because they want to show us how to do things. And you cannot attack with a monster unless your monster is in attack mode. So, um, attacking is basically 75% of the game. The other 25% is strategy and chaos and copycatting, basically. And psychological warfare. So, there you go. Uh, yeah, so you enter the battle phase. And, uh, I'm just gonna leave this on in phase. <laughs> uh, but, uh, we actually want to move over to the right. And because I won't leave this on end phase, I guess I'll put this. Uh, gonna have to use uh, moving my mouse backwards. There we go. All right. So because of Banner of Courage, now our monsters are strong enough to kill his. So there we go. And yeah, yeah, you're boring. Basically, they're telling you what to do step by step. Um, now, you may see a lot of gold monsters here on the field right now. Yu-Gi-Oh! these days, you may see like one or two yellowish gold monsters in a deck, and that's it. And that's because these are normal monsters. They have no effects. But, just why would you put normal monsters in your deck? Well, as you see with Dragon in the Cave, they may not have effects, but they may have high defense points. I think the highest defense points on a normal monster these days is 2,300. That's pretty good, honestly. May help you survive in one turn, so... But yeah, anyway. Uh, the highest normal monster attack I've seen lately... I think I saw one at 2,200. I forget what that archetype it was from, but yeah. Uh, that card hasn't been released in America yet, by the way. It's the one I'm talking about. So now they're going to teach you how to sacrifice summon. So basically, to sacrifice summon... Oh, I'm sorry. Tribute summon. You have to, um... So, you know, send one monster... Wait, wait, what? They want us... What do they want us to tribute? You want us to tribute Ninkin Dog? Are you serious? Okay, well, fine, I'll do it. I mean, I guess. Why wouldn't you tribute Dragon there? What? I'm sorry, that is weird. Anyway, we're going to use Gravity Dragon's effect, and... You know what? I guess it doesn't matter what you tribute here. Because we're gonna play Call of the Bonded anyway, so. And then Nimkin comes back. And then. Basically, they're teaching you about chain bonuses right here. And so, the chain makes it so that Rush Recklessly activates first, then Call of the Haunted, and then Gravity Crushes effect. So, pretty crazy, but yeah, anyway. That's a chain. They just wanted to explain chains. Chain, chain, chain. Chain, fools. Anyway, that is the it for the tutorial. And... Alright. What? A card like that totally wipes me out. Yeah. Woo, you stink at this game, Joey. <laughs> you did fine, Joey. I just have better cards. My grandpa owns a GameStop a store, and I steal all of the merchandise. <laughs> you, you own GameStop? What, what are you waiting for? Let's do it! Let's go! Okay. Maybe I can get my grandpa to show us how lame I am, and the super, su super special, awesome, chocolatey chocolate fudge located in your card. Little did they know that someone is listening in on their conversation. Someone named Kakarot. Kakarot was looking for a very rare card to add to his collection. Da -na -na. Trouble brewing. Okay, guys, and now you you see how it says reverse duel right here with X. Here's the way this LP is gonna work. I've already played through the game myself, obviously, which is why everything is unlocked. 
but we're basically just going to play this game, and I'm just going to use it as an excuse to do the Dragon Ball Z narration voice. <laughs> and that's it. Um, yeah, this isn't the newest game that's out, but eventually I will switch us to the newest game that's out. And we'll go over the duels that I skipped, slash, and or are not included. But the original Legacy of the Duels has many of the same duels as Legacy of the Duels on PC. And for that reason, this LP is basically eventually going to be on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, the only thing is, is I have to save up enough money to buy the Switch, and the game, and the insurance policy on the Switch. It won't take long. Probably, guys, we'll switch to the Switch. Ah, there's a uh, campaign slogan for you. Switch to the Switch today on Dragon Ball Z. But anyway, <laughs> um, we're going to switch to the Switch. Probably Black Friday, right? Am I right? That's a great idea. And Black Friday is only like two months away. Yeah, so I'm going to wait till Black Friday, buy the Switch on Black Friday, buy the game on Black Friday, buy a bunch of other random stuff on Black Friday that I like, and that's the plan. Uh, we should get, well, well, we have dual the original done by Black Friday. You know, honestly, with the reverse duels, probably not. Probably not. Anyway, let's keep going. That's the plan. Hey, if you like, like, comment, subscribe. You know, go to Flood and Mod 14. That's Flood, Flood, I N N Mod, Emma 14's channel. And then hit the like, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for new episodes. And we will crank them out one at a time whenever I feel like it. Because I refuse to lose in Duel Monsters, and I refuse to hand out sub-par commentary. So, yeah, we're we're an unprofessional channel here. So, uh, yeah, just a little heart-to-heart, -heart, guys. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. And now, we're going to do, what we're going to do is I could just do custom deck and make this a really, like, okay LP, but no, we're going to make this LP a challenge, just like the ranking challenge. And so the challenge of this is using the story decks and oh boy i ain't ready guys wish me luck that afternoon gohan and his friends went to grandpa's game shop frieza was coming and they had to prepare so gohan learned another ritual to unlock his spirit energy Yugi wanted to show his friends that Grandpa's prized position was a chocolate fudge coated car. Hi, Gramps. Could you show my friend your super, your super special awesome card? <coughs> Grand card, you whip a snapper. You mean my special card? Hmm. I can't really do Grandpa's voice right now. Please, please. <laughs> Oh, how can I refuse? You kids are in for a treat. I don't take this car card out much too often, but I do like having Bulba here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ready? Here it is. The Moolahas White Dragon. Oh, so rare, youngster. So powerful. Oh, my back. Ow. <laughs> I just better keep my hand on you. <coughs> this car is priceless, youngster. There's only four of them in all the world. Peanut butter and crack sandwich. <laughs> Suddenly, a classmate from school ran into the shop. His name was Kaiba Sato, the young CEO of Kaiba Corp. Hashtag trademark. Hashtag response. He had found the card he was looking for. Dragon Ball Z Blue Eyes White Dragon. You name your price for that blue eyes old man. I can pay anything you ask. How about five million? How about fifty million? How about five Snickers bars? I'm sure you could, youngster, but this card is worth more to me than you could ever offer. Because this card's made of chocolate, and that means I can eat it. Oh, my diabetes. See now, 
I'll rip this card in half. Kaiba stormed out to Grandpa's store. The team was disturbed by Kaiba's unhealthy obsession with the blue eyes white dragon. The next day, when Yugi came back to the store with his friends, he found Grandpa. Let's go. Much like how Kakarot found out that Grandpa Gohan was dead. Goku was lost, alone, and afraid. With the phone rang, it was Kaiba on the other end, mocking Yugi that he had kidnapped his grandfather and was battling against Frieza in the next episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! LT! Legacy of the Duelist. Yugi and his friends rushed to Kaiba Corp and found Grandpa laying on the floor. Tired, sad, miserable, and alone. What would Yugi and his friends do about the situation? Find out next episode on Yu-Gi-Oh! LD! Will Yugi avenge his grandpa's death? Will Kaiba stop being so emo and get a girlfriend? And will Floodmod 14 stop doing the Dragon Ball Z announcer voice? Find out next time on Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist by me, Floodmod 14. Bye-bye. You guys have a great day. Even you, Frieza.